Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everybody! So, hello, we are doing an update video uh, just to talk f with you guys about, you know, goals. But um, you guys just saw the trailer. Oh, finally, the teaser. The teaser trailer. It's been torture to wait to share this thing. Yeah. And also trying to get it done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we did it. Uh, so the game is in full swing of production. We had to kind of like rethink our angle for it. Because originally you guys saw that it was a dating simulator, which was really just a meme. <laughs> yeah. We were just kind of having fun with it. And then as we started to develop it more and more, we were like, do we actually want to make a dating simulator? I, I mean, the, this whole game <laughs> was multiple stages of like, oh, but what if? Oh, but what if? Yeah, and also like, oh no, what have we done? We yeah. can't do dating sim. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, we could have done just a dating sim, yeah. but I wanted to make more like, you know, like a full game. Like I wanted gameplay elements in it and you stuff like that. You wanted to interact more. And like, yeah. this is your first like full production game. Yeah. You've always wanted to make a game. And it was like, a dating sim is more of a graphic novel than an actual exactly it's it's game. it's it's a visual novel right so yeah so we were like yeah let's let's move on to something else so it was like okay why don't you just like mush two genres that you love of just like well okay i like dating sims. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i like i like a harvest moon kind of style dating where you love rogue likes so we yeah. were just like just just and we, marry them and we together, just put them together. Smashed them together, and now Fool's Gold, Dice, Death, and Dating has turned into Fool's Gold Soul Breaker, which is such a good name. Yeah, that was really fun to figure out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're excited about it. We have just so much stuff to show you guys. Right now, we're working currently on the demo so that we can get it to you guys. You guys can have a, a good play of it, see how it feels, because we're also going to be pairing it up with a Kickstarter. We haven't even told people what the game is about yet. Because well, it's going to be not just a dating sim, but also a roguelike yeah. hack and slash game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thought roguelikes are hack and slash. No, roguelikes are just like games that repeat themselves. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. K I, I've of. only played hack and slash roguelikes then. <laughs> That's my only I mean, exposure. I mean, it's it's like, yeah, you're not completely wrong. Yeah. But yeah, so technically it's a roguelite because you can carry over some of your progress Ah, I see. But yeah, in Fool's Gold Soulbreaker, you're going to be going through a world, fighting your way through enemies, through randomly generated dungeons, meeting people along the way, and potentially building friendships, and potentially building relationships with these people. Dating is completely optional. You can still do it, but if you just want to be buddies with the Fool's Gold crew and other characters, you can totally do that now. Yeah, we wanted it that if you didn't want to date, you can still finish the game. Well, as much as you can finish a rogue, like... Um, but you can get a happy ending, essentially. You don't have to do... Well, careful when you say happy ending when a dating sim. That that implies okay. something else, honey. <laughs> shut, the, shut the fuck up. You do not get to bang sips in this game. <laughs> oh, God. I just want to Which, be very clear about that. I want to be very clear that you also can't date sips. Like, he's just... He's ace arrow. He's You, you can't. But yeah. his whole journey, his whole story is that you're becoming really, really good friends with him. So he's still canon, like, as in his... Relate, his hmm. um. His, his relationship his relationship you. status yeah. yeah exactly so he still wants to murder you until you eventually become friends with him so yeah uh yeah it's it's a lot of fun i'm excited about the game i'm kind of in the background i i'm doing art for it and also i'm helping with the writing yeah so if you love the writing of fool's gold you're gonna love the writing <laughs> of this game yeah but we're like i'm working with my friend jordan uh he's doing like the bones of it all and then i'm kind of coming in and doing all the jokes. <laughs> yeah, the this, this studio has actually grown a lot. Like, because, you know, we've got Fool's Gold, which is mainly Dingo's thing. But now we've also got this whole company called Cryodon that's now part of this, working on the game, of course, which is now, I mean, we've got Avery Gothi's player doing art for it. We've got our new animator, Mel, also known as Squirrel Curls, yes. doing all the amazing animations for this game. And then we've got our friend Jordan, who is like, like, he used to write fanfic just for fun. And now we're like, hey, you are weirdly qualified to write this <laughs> game with us. Do you want to? And he's just like, yeah, OK, absolutely. I'll yeah, do this. All right, let's do it. Uh, so <laughs> and then, yeah, Dingo's doing art and, and uh, writing. writing as well. But and anything I creative, too. I kind of come in and go like here you should do this or maybe this or like I, I'm, I, I come in and do some ideas too yeah totally I mean everybody brings in their ideas exactly and then I'm doing kind of the lead on it like the, the coding of course and like the project management of it as yeah. well but we're really excited uh, there's a lot of cool elements to this game that I have never seen in a rogue light or roguelike. You can say yeah. roguelike. It's okay, fine. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's like for for the for like the small section of the audience, they're like, mm, it's a roguelite. 
Yeah. Now, okay. they're, now they know. I'm calling it roguelike. And now but, you can just keep saying roguelike. Yeah. <laughs> but essentially, there's some really cool elements in there I've just never seen before because we're just like, this has never been done before and we kind of want it. So here you go. And if you love, like, our, our inspirations for the game that I'm happy to say are, for example, Hades, Binding of Isaac, Cult of the Lamb, and Dead Cells. Yeah. They're like my huge inspirations that are kind of all come into this game also a bit of mass effect in there and harvest moon harvest moon exactly not the farming but like spoilers the, the relationships <laughs> well, you can take farming off the table <laughs> i want no, everybody no. to understand that no farming no there's no farming in this yeah like so the plan is basically we're trying to make a solid demo that's yeah. what we're going for right now and then we're hoping to put that on kickstarter and then you know get the funding necessary to actually make this into like a full game we have so many extra ideas and features we want to put into this thing but of course you know we got to stick to a budget we need money <laughs> yeah. games are expensive and we want to pay people uh, what Barely. they deserve you know we're also uh, pairing up this kickstarter with a new plushie yeah which are plushie can i say what it is you may say what it is okay. if you if you really want. I want to because everybody's been asking me for this plushie for so freaking long. Uh, but we are going to be doing a jawbone plushie. Hooray! Da, 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 da. He also looks so cute. He's so cute. You guys have, have no idea. We've been we've been tossing him <laughs> around the office. It's like him. it's like a friendly football, just like <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can toss him. Uh, we're going with a different company called Makeship. Yeah, I'm sure many of you already know Makeship because a bunch of our friends from this. D&D space have already gone with them. Yeah. But yeah. they're damn reliable. You know, shipping times are going to be a minimum for this. They're also going to ship separately from anything else on the Kickstarter because Makeship is handling that part. True. So these plushies will drop fast after yeah, the Kickstarter. They'll be fulfilled before, like, the game's done, essentially. Exactly. And, and Makeship is locked and loaded. They're good to go for this. So, like, these plushies will be in your hands fairly quickly We're once they've launched on Kickstarter. That. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's been way too long for the... That we haven't launched plushies. But also, you know, we wanted to wait until everybody had them. Because I know there's still some Sips and Sneeze plushies currently in limbo uh -huh. uh, with the big Kickstarter with Hitpoint Press. Yeah, so update which, on that stuff. Yeah, let's update them on that. Yeah, so essentially the Kickstarter, there's constant updates from Hitpoint Press, thankfully. Everybody up to date on the process. They have been getting in prototypes. We've touched the book uh, physically. Yes. And we've made our small changes to it and now they're going into full print yeah hit, hit point press's last kind of estimate for that shipping was like march april mm. and i still think that that could potentially be the reality now because actually there's a lot of the goods that are already in the warehouse waiting okay. like they're ready they're okay. in the warehouse um there's um some books that are still being printed i yeah. think the deluxe edition is like on its way right now okay and then um the dice are still on their way as well but yeah. pretty much as soon as those hit the warehouse, like, boom, it's yeah. out. You know, the minis are all done. They're ready to go. Like, they're 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 ready. Everything's <laughs> ready. Yeah, essentially yeah. everything's about to to hit. So, I, I mean, I'm just, I just want this stuff out so bad. Yeah, I just want it out. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, and also, like, like God, huge thank you, you guys, for being so patient. Like, this has been a journey. There. Yeah. I'm sorry for the wait. Yeah, I'm sorry. We haven't been able to do anything, unfortunately. We've been like, from what we can do, we've been trying as hard as possible to like push things forward to just like get it done. But, but yeah, this is now we're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> and also, I guess on the topic of Kickstarter, so for the game, we're taking different approaches with that. Yeah. Um, we are actually going to be handling that Kickstarter ourselves. Yes. So with the with the Soulbreaker Kickstarter. The fulfillment is done. I mean, except for, of course, Makeship, which is they have a really quick reputation anyways. But everything else we do ourselves, um, we do it quick. We've already got, you know, the most reliable suppliers lined up for some of those rewards we've planned. Mm -hmm. So that Kickstarter is going to be fulfilled a lot faster. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're just we're we're excited to go into this year because we know that there's a lot of things coming there's a lot of things we haven't been able to even tell you guys about that we've been working on for, what, like a year or two? Yeah, there, there is. Um, I mean, the nice thing is for this year, we really want to lay it all on the table. Like, we've been working a lot of things behind the scenes. We were like, oh, we're not really re ready to share this yet. But now we're like, no, here it all. You know, here's everything. Here's what we've been working well, on. Well, we even had a, NDAs with certain things. Exactly. We just been, couldn't talk about it. Yeah, there's NDAs and whatnot. Now, um, overall, there's really just one project left that we're working on this year. Two projects. With NDAs? 
Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no I was gonna say one I, project I just remember NDA. one NDA. No, 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 no one so, NDA. So uh, Avery Gothi's player is actually currently leading a project um, on yeah one that we can't talk about yet, and that's because it's with a major publishing partner. I guess I can say, and we're not allowed to reveal who or what that is yet. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I know we want to. We're very excited. <laughs> Um, but it, we're going to give it its proper hype when it comes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, w- like when we reveal it, we're going to reveal it with a bang. And it will be revealed this year. Yes, this year. That sure. I can say. It yeah, will be I in 2024. That. that project will be revealed. And it's going to be so exciting. But uh, speaking of projects we've been working on, how about at certain, some, you know, podcast we've been working <laughs> on? Yeah, we're, we also are working on our podcast right now. Fool's is, Gold Sands. Fool's Gold Sands, which is essentially the second campaign. Uh, and I'm not talking about animation. I'm talking about, like, we're doing a podcast. But it is the groundwork for the next campaign setting. So with Fool's Gold, you guys came in after we've played the campaign. Yeah. You know, we've already played it. And then Dingo was just like, what if I expose us all on the internet? <laughs> yeah. Our vulnerable, dumb selves online. Without asking, and I just did it. <laughs> yeah, that just that worked out. Yeah. But this time, you're there for the full journey. Oh so you God. get to listen to it from the get-go. It's going to be such a fun campaign. It's a 2v1 campaign, so it's going to be, yeah, Dingo and Avery playing with me as the GM. They're going to be playing D&D 3.5. Homebrewed version, of course, because me. It's going to be like another buddy cop situation. We got demons. We got genies. We got sand. Yeah, lots It's going to be sand. great. There's so much sand. We've already recorded a bunch of episodes, and we're actually happy now to share the release date, which is currently slated for February 13th. Yeah. Which Episode I'm... one of Sands. Yeah, I'm I'm editing it, so that's why it's been taking a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we have been uh, doing this bit on our off time to try to get this all edited together. It's going to release on pretty much all the major podcasting platforms, including... On the YouTube channel itself, yeah. we're going to be posting YouTube it there as well. It, yeah. But, you know, the usual. we got, like, I think it's Spotify, uh, Apple, Podcasts, um, you know, all of the good ones. The other things that we got going on, just to update, is that YouTube is kind of weird right now. They're kind of shifting all of their, mm, I guess, money <laughs> towards shorter form content. Their one shared brain cell. My content is not short formed and it will not become short form uh, just because I need to tell a story and I'm just going to keep telling that story but however we have had to make some decisions when it comes to like other content we've been producing simply because it's not financially viable anymore like we just can't support it so unfortunately the Felix uh, videos have kind of had to take a shift yeah, we've we've had to kind of change this up. Um, like they don't essentially don't cover their cost of production. Animation is expensive, and yeah. as usual, you know, we want to pay people what they deserve. So we're not going to lowball people. Uh, instead, what we're now um, trying to see is like, is there maybe a different format that can work for that? Maybe something I can do by myself. You know, it might even be short form just for those videos. Yeah, just for um, you to talk about the campaign sessions. Yeah, exactly. And, like your tips and stuff. It's for fun. This is all for fun anyway. So. Exactly. It is all supposed to be for fun. So you might see a new format of the Felix videos. We're just kind of playing along on this and we're just rolling with the punches with YouTube as usual. I mean, I've been through a couple ad apocalypses. It's not new to me. Yeah. But I have had to just be like, okay, we have to just shift some things around yeah. just for that content. But Fool's Gold's gonna continue to be Fool's Gold because I'm I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing Yeah. It. <laughs> no, not to worry. Fool's Gold is not going anywhere. No, and I'm also I, I still have too much fun with it. And I know that like my views have gone down, but it's one of those things where it's like I can't control it other than just to keep putting out content well you want to finish it and i want to you're not it. doing this for the numbers you're no. doing this to tell the story i have to it's it's one of those things where it's like my body and my gut are just like you have to finish it and i'm like okay because nobody's gonna recommend an unfinished series so i'm gonna make sure that fool's gold is finished all the way to the end but last year i felt that i was a bit isolated from the audience because i was spending a lot of time on episodes that were very long you know, I did a 25 minute episode and then the other episodes were all 21 minutes or so. And I only got done four episodes, which in reality, if you go back to my previous years, I always got done six episodes. But 
the amount of minutes done was the same. It's just differently spread out. So we got exactly the same amount of content just in smaller or like longer time timelines or something like that. You know what I'm trying to say? You get it. But what I want to shift a bit this year is for me to do pull pull back, stop doing the 20 minute episodes. Thank you. Yeah. And do more towards like 15. Yeah. Stop stop trying to kill yourself. For I'm this. Yeah. I mostly just I'm trying to shorten it so that I can get stuff done quicker. Uh, my brain can just stop making everything so goddamn complicated. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm learning every episode. So you're getting better at every one. Yeah, I yeah, uh, there's always a little bit of a shift every time. So I'm hoping to get done six episodes this year as normal, probably more towards the 15 minute marks. Uh, I'm currently working on my next episode, episode 33, which we're shooting for the end of February right now. Yeah. In general, you guys can expect more updates this year. With the game also, I'm going to be doing a bit of a devlog. So you'll always be hearing regular updates from us now in this year. Yes. And then for the Discord, we're hoping to do some game nights. We'll do contests, but we would like to do a bit more interaction with people and, and hang out and stuff like that. But, you know, we don't want to we don't want to also exhaust everyone with us. <laughs> so we'll just kind of take it by ear. Enjoy the ride. Did you know that our Discord has almost 10,000 members? Wow. What? <laughs> what? We're almost at 10,000 oh members in the, in the Discord server. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. It's crazy. Okay. Well, uh, with that, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. I think that's all for now. So, I mean, stay tuned for more updates about the podcast. Again, coming February 13th. Game Kickstarter coming sometime spring. And Dingo's video coming at the end of February. Oh, and also for the podcast, we're doing a bi-weekly sc- schedule. Bi-weekly schedule. That's right. Yeah, bi-weekly and uh, there's definitely so much art for that podcast that is going to be posted all over social medias. Oh, yeah. So get lo- look forward to that because we've been just sketching and doodling the entire time we've been playing. So. Yeah, that's the beauty with playing with two artists. They're constantly sketching and drawing stuff. Every NPC he introduces, there's like a new drawing of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. But I think that's all for now. That's all for now. And uh, thank you, everybody, for your patience. And I just I look forward to this year. It's going to be a really good year. I think so. Thank thank you, everybody, for your support. Like there's going to be some awesome stuff coming your way this year. Yeah, it's a nose to the grindstone for me this year, for sure. Well, less than last year, less isolating. Yeah, I guess so. (laughs) It'll be fine.